Welcome back to Coach's Q, episode 5.4. Today we are going to continue stabilizing our midline and figuring out the awareness of where our midline is and how to use it. We started off by learning the bracing sequence, the order of events in which you need to accomplish in order to stabilize your midline. Then we moved into specific exercises to strengthen and stretch certain muscles to improve your midline. Today we will further go into depth on certain exercises that will allow you to utilize and strengthen your midline. We will start our discussion today by talking about the gymnastics hollow position. A key point in this is not bringing our shoulders up too high. This isn't a crunch. We're bringing our shoulders down. In other words, we are bracing. His belly button is towards his spine. His shoulders are back tight to the floor along with his lower back. This is the basic hollow body position. Now here his shoulders are slightly elevated off the ground, but the important part is that they are activated because he is actively pressing his hands towards his heels, not up, but straight. Once you're comfortable in this position and have your back flat on the floor, we'll start to take our legs out. Now, in order to keep this position, we need to make sure to not go to the point where our lower back comes up off the floor. And that's why I have my shirt on, is to show that we do not want this position here. We always want to have our lower back near even to the floor, right into the floor in this position. Once you, get Once you have mastered the original gymnastics hollow position with knees at your chest, you can move on to this position. Keep your lower back on the floor, you'll gradually work on lowering your legs. Once you are able to hold that for an extended period of time without your lower back coming off the ground, we can work on lowering your Until legs. Until finally you can get into this position. This would be step three of the progression of the gymnastics hollow position. Notice how his midline is tight and stable and he now, is completely once compact. Once you're comfortable with this position, we'll work on bringing our arms up. Once again, make sure that you do not bring your lower back off the floor. You should stay flat against the floor, and gradually work on getting into this position. Take your time and work on achieving step four, which is this full hollow position. Once you have gained the adequate body awareness to hold that hollow position, we will then work on making it a dynamic movement. This is the hollow rock. Coach Heidi is going to lay back, stretch her arms and legs out, initiate the hollow position, by exhaling, compressing her ribs to her hip bones. Notice her arms are back behind her ears. Feet are just barely off the ground. Here she's gonna initiate a rock, keeping her body nice and hollow. Excellent. The progression for this, to get to this movement, she's gonna go back to that series. hollow position. Come back to your hollow position. And now she's gonna and then ball your up knees up by bringing your head up, arms Hold forward, tight. knees in towards your forehead. And release. Back to hollow back position. Back to the hollow. And back Balling to your knees. And back you to hollow. You can do this for approximately 10 reps. Then we should be able to move you into the actual rocking motion. Start working on these simple progressions to master and utilize the full recruitment and understanding of your midline stability, core, and backside. If you have any specific questions on how to identify and subsequently fix any of your weaknesses, contact us directly at the gym or shoot us an email. We would be happy to make you a plan and get you on the road to being unbreakable.